Good morning, everybody. My name is Barry Schwartz, and this is the Search Buzz video recap. Today is Friday, February 3rd. This is the search news we covered over at the Search Engine Roundtable at SCRoundtable.com over the past week. Time to discuss. Unconfirmed update, January 26th. Yandex search ranking factors leaked, explored by SEOs. Chat GPT going crazy. Microsoft previews some of their stuff. More to come on that. Google confirms, something that Pritchard confirms they're actually releasing something with chat related to that, their Lambda version of that. A lot to go on there. Bing says, you, you know, the last mod is critical in sitemap files. Yahoo Search has a lot more coming. So much to go on. Definitely stay tuned. Watch till the end. Subscribe, like, and enjoy this video. Thank you so much, and definitely comment and let me know what you think. Of course, I'd like to thank our sponsor, Bruce Clay. Thank you, Bruce, so much for sponsoring. Bruce is one of the founding fathers of the, he actually is the founding father of, SEO, of the SEO space. He's been doing search marketing since 1996. Bruce is big into SEO training. Check them out at seotraining.com. And to learn more about Bruce Clay and their company, check out bruceclay.com. Thank you so much, Bruce, for sponsoring. All right, so first off, just want to get this Google update out there. Glenn Gabe actually spotted this before me. Um, usually I spot it before him. No offense, Glenn. Glenn. <laughs> no offense, Glenn, but he spotted this well before me. Um, basically, he noticed a Google update that seemed to not necessarily be product review related, but had an impact on some of the product review sites that he's looking at. There were some signals, not a significant signals on a higher level, the ones that I track, I didn't see much of it, which is why I didn't report about it earlier, but there was some chatter, not as much as I normally see, um, but other people are seeing it as well. So like around January 26th, there's also, just so you know, some rumors percolating this morning, last night of another Google update. I'm not seeing enough to report about it yet, but if I do see more evidence, I will report about it on Monday. Uh, so definitely stay tuned. This was a really nice spot by Glenn. There was definitely a lot of evidence uh, that he uncovered around a potential Thursday, January 26th Google update um, that seemed to have be more triggered towards product reviews, not necessarily a product reviews update, but a little bit beyond that. So definitely, if you were hit on that date, you are not alone. Um, Yandex, big news this week. Um, Yandex, well, actually started last week, but all the news really came out earlier this week where the Yandex source code across all their products and services, including Yandex Search, was leaked. So now we have tons and tons of SEOs digging through this stuff. We have Rob, we have Alex Burrix, we have Mike King, we have tons of SEOs going through this because it really shows you in detail um, what ranking factors Yandex use. And of course, as you may remember, Yandex was founded by a former Googler many, many years ago. So the source code is probably very, very outdated in terms of like being a replica of Google search. But just keep in mind that it goes through all these things. Is it going to change how you do SEO? Probably not. Are you going to go ahead and ask Google if they use hyphens in your URL as a ranking factor? Probably yes, but you shouldn't. Again, this doesn't really change much SEO, but it's really, really fun and educational to actually go through this to see how um, one search engine may be using ranking factors in search. Moving on to the chat GPT craze. So as you know, OpenAI released ChatGPT in late November. Ever since then, code red, Google's dead. What are we gonna do? Everybody's panicking. What do we do? What do we do? Um, so now there's rumors coming out around both Bing and Google around ChatGPT. Specifically, um, Google's testing something called, they're calling Apprentice Bard, which is their answer to ChatGPT. Um, it's basically, uh, CNBC reported about it earlier this week, and they're gonna be using la the Lambda team to prioritize their answer to this ChatGPT craze. It's gonna be able to like answer questions like ChatGPT, but much faster and using Google's more recent data, supposedly it's gonna be a lot better. Um, and then on their earnings call last night, yes, Google announced, uh, had their earnings call last night, which wasn't so stellar, we'll get into that a little bit later. Google's CEO, Sundar Pichai, confirmed this. He went ahead and said, in the coming weeks and months, we'll make these language models available, starting with Lambda, so that people can engage directly with them. That's basically saying it's gonna change how search works. Um, they're gonna be testing these interfaces. In fact, according to 9 to 5 Google, there's actually a new live stream, a new Google event where they're going to present like search maps and beyond um, some features on Wednesday um, around 8.30 a.m. Eastern. So you can definitely tune into that. But there's a lot of coming from Google and Microsoft on ChatGPT. Talking about Microsoft, we noticed that uh, via Twitter, Owen Yin um, went ahead and noticed a really interesting uh, feature um, test from Microsoft Bing, which looks like their chat GPT integration. So we know that those features are coming from Microsoft Bing. There's lots of rumors. We're all expecting it to come. In fact, chat GPT is now on version 
the new version 4 is coming out soon and supposedly Microsoft will be launching their version with 4, which is much faster and richer, which is very important because right now ChatGPT is kind of slow. Um, and the, uh, Owen Yin went ahead and shared some screenshots on Twitter as well as a medium of this new interface. So here are some of those screenshots. I think it's real, I can't confirm it yet, uh, but maybe we'll get more information from them soon. So there is a lot of going on around ChatGPT and how Google and Microsoft Bing are reacting to it. All right, moving on to more SEO stuff. Google has blasted, well, well kind of title. Huh? But basically, John Mueller went ahead and, and said that agencies both creating and, and disavowing are just making stuff up, cashing in from those who don't know better. He basically is like just getting annoyed by the agencies that are building links and then going and dis paying, charging you to, to build those links and then charging you to disavow those links right afterwards. I'm um, talking about disavowing and it's a pretty good rant. Definitely take a look at that. I'm not gonna go into much detail about that, but it was nice to hear from him on that. Google Search Console released new features for video indexing reports. Specifically, you can now see the impressions your videos are getting on the index report, as well as the ability to filter your, um, those index, what was indexed based on sitemap files. So you can see what I submitted in the sitemap file, was it indexed or not? And then in the sitemap file, there's other features there too. That was a new feature in Google Search Console, which is pretty cool. Lizzie from Google said that you should go ahead and no follow the site credit links in your footer if you're able to control it. So it could be like site powered or site designed by. If you could control those links, definitely no follow them. That was her advice in the latest search of SEO video, um, recap, uh, SEO video office hours from Google, which was a short version, a 22, 22 minute version, um, which was created after those Googlers knew that there were layoffs and they don't know if they're actually laid off yet. So pretty big problems from them. Lizzie also said on this video that spammy links from porn sites should probably not be prioritized by you. If you have other things to work on SEO related, work on those other SEO things, but even if you're getting tons of spammy links from porn sites, don't worry, Google can pretty much handle it. If you are worried, yeah, but it's not a priority in terms of something that you need to fix or do anything about. Gary from Google went ahead and posted on LinkedIn basically saying, here's a PSA. When you, re when you redesign a website, its rankings and search engines may go nuts. This article got a crazy amount of got nuts traffic. I'm not sure why. I mean, it's pretty obvious. You redesign a website. There are things that could happen when you do a redesign, not just URL changes, but also HTML changes, content changes. Um, in any event, pretty basic stuff. But yeah, if you redesign a website, it can go nuts. Also, he said that um, if you verify your website in Google Search Console, it does not impact your rankings or your indexing. Obviously, there's features in Search Console that could help you get better rankings and indexing, but just by verifying your website in Google Search Console, it's not gonna go ahead and improve your indexing or ranking in Google Search. And also, he, uh, Gary also said that firewalls and CDNs are the main and most common issue why Google has issues crawling many, many websites. Make sure when you use a CDN or a firewall that you're not blocking Google, and definitely test that using the URL inspection tool and other tools that you could use. Also, Google this morning released a new major refresh on the SEO canonicalization documentation. It used to be on one page, now there's three different sections. One's on what is canonicalization, how to specify a canonical with URL, URL canonical and other methods, and how to fix canonicalization issues. Google goes into this in much more detail than the previous documentation. And Gary dropped two tip, tips this one, tip this, tips this week on canonicalization. One, he said that you can stack canonicalization singles to strengthen that hint. And he goes into how you do that. Definitely take a look at that story I posted this morning. And also, he said, uh, make sure to use absolute, not relative, but absolute, the full URL in your canonical links. I posted the Google Webmaster report for February 2023 this week. Um, you can definitely take a look at that. It goes into all the big things that changed over the past month. You don't want to miss it if you were on vacation at all. Definitely just scan through it to make sure you catch up on that. Obviously, it covers all the Google updates. Uh, the content ideas may be going away. Performance report metrics updates. Um, lots of SEO topics and so forth, as including the mass Google layoffs, the DOGA um, suing Google again. So definitely take a look at that. You don't want to miss out on that. Microsoft Bing said in a blog post this week that the last mod field in the XML sitemap files is one of the most, if not the most critical fields that you could have in your XML sitemap file. It tells Microsoft how to crawl your website, how fast and how, how recently to crawl your website, and if they should crawl again. They actually produced all these cool stats, basically showing that 58% of hosts at least have one XML sitemap. 84% of these sitemaps have at least um, have a last mod attribute set. 79% have last mod values correct. 18% have them not set correctly. 3% um, has last mod value only for some URL. 16% of these sitemaps don't have last mod attributes set at all. And 42% of the hosts don't have XML sitemaps. Keep in mind, also, that they said that usually the last mod, the biggest issue with the last mod date is that it's the time that the last, the last mod is being set to the time the sitemap file was updated. It's not about the sitemap file, it's about when that URL in that sitemap file 
is updated. So if you update a specific page, you should use that last mod date, not the sitemap last mod date. Keep that in mind. Um, and also, a big change is coming to Microsoft Bing around last mod, where they're going to go ahead and revamp their crawl stack and how they crawl to make it more efficient using last mod. If you're not using index, index now, Microsoft says use index now, but just keep that in mind. Last mod is going to be a big deal for Microsoft. It's not such a big deal for Google, but it is going to be a bigger deal for Microsoft. Also, um, the new Bing bot should be going fully live today. Um, Bing bot was supposed to be fully live 100% by the end of by January. It's January past, but Fabrice Canal from Microsoft said they have some news to announce today. I'm not sure what that news is, but specifically to, to the Bing bot. So maybe it's going to be 100% today. We will keep an eye on that and report back on Monday or Tuesday of next week. Uh, Google Ads um, news and features announcement page has been pretty, pretty sparse. Um, the barely updated that page since November, they, and also the policies page since December. So it's been like months and months, I think two and a half months since they actually posted an announcement there. I'm not sure what's going on. They are announcing stuff, small things here and there, but they haven't announced many, many things going forward. They actually just posted two policy changes uh, for January, uh, two days ago. That was after I wrote the story. So maybe they're gonna be posting more, but we'll see. Also, Google's ad revenue uh, was down 3.6% year over year. So this past quarter to the previous past quarter, this is the first time in a while they actually had a revenue, ad revenue decline of 3.6 or 3.59% or something like that. Um, and their overall revenue was up quarter to quarter 1%, which is pretty bad. So in fact, their profit, even though they're making like $1 billion profit every single week, their profit was down 34%. The net income was down 34% quarter to quarter. So because of that, the layoffs, as you saw, Google is going to work on cost structures and cut, cut, cutting costs as much as possible, which you see across all companies right now, which is pretty sad for a company making $1 billion in profit every year. But stock uh, Wall Street will be Wall Street. And Yahoo, again, uh, we know we hinted about this uh, a week ago or so. Yahoo is, going, is working on search. I spoke to several people at Yahoo. They posted a job posting about hiring a product manager for search. Jim Lanzone commented, yep, we're working on it. It's coming not right now, but you will see stuff in the future. Um, it's going to take a while. But yes, Yahoo Search is getting into search by posting job postings, and they're going to be working on it going forward. Jim Lanzone is an, a search guy. He worked at Ask Sheaves, Ask.com. Um, he worked at CBS Interactive. He is by far a search guy, and I'm really looking forward to seeing what Yahoo Search does under Jim Lanzone's leadership. Any event, thanks so much for listening to the Search Buzz video recap. Again, I'm sorry how quickly I went, but there was so much to cover in a short period of time. I try to make these videos about 10, 12 minutes. Everyone, I hope you have a great, safe, healthy weekend. Looking forward to all the chat GPT news next week. And again, thanks so much to Bruce Clay. Thank you so much, Bruce Clay, for sponsoring. Definitely check them out at bruceclay.com and seotraining.com. Everyone have a great, safe, healthy weekend. Speak to you guys next. Goodbye.